Let's begin this practice in the child's pose. You can keep your knees closer together or bring them a little wider apart, whichever way feels more relaxing to you. And then fold forward as you extend your arms over the head. Bring your forehead a little bit closer towards the mat. And let's begin this practice by allowing ourselves to take a few deep, loud, open exhales. One more time. Letting it all out, everything that has been on your mind today, everything that didn't go as you planned it, everything that didn't make you feel entirely happy today. Allowing it all to pass. Finding a place where there is no attachment to the past. There are no worries about the future. And really becoming a bit more grounded in the present moment. It is easier to achieve that by finding a strong connection to the breathing and a deeper focus on the body. So during this practice, try not to lose track of your breath and observe how you feel in your body. Remind yourself that you're exactly where you need to be right now. It is a beautiful place with all the lessons you are learning, with all the challenges you are overcoming, you are only becoming stronger. You are teaching yourself patience, acceptance, You're moving towards a place where you feel a little bit more at ease and at peace. You can choose to set your intention for this practice. Just a couple more breaths here. And if you are ready, slowly come up into the seated position. Might be keep your eyes softly closed. Extend your head over towards one shoulder. Finding the stretch through the neck. Reach up and extend the head over towards the other shoulder. Reach up one more time. Up and to the other side. And up to neutral. Bring your hands towards the shoulders and let's draw a few big circles through the elbows. First start backwards. And 
and now the opposite direction. And release. Inhale, reach through the arms up and might we try to grab your hands onto the opposite elbows. Finding a nice stretch through the shoulders, sitting tall, feeling the sp space across the chest. Reach the arms up, interlace the fingers and find even more length through the back. Exhale, unclasp the hands and now interlace the fingers behind the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades closer together. Hold it here or might be you can choose to Fold back and down into the child's pose as your arms reach up. Inhale back up to seated. Unclasp the hands and lengthen. And take a deep exhale as you release your arms through the sides. Inhale, shift your weight forward into the tabletop position. A few cat and cow movements. Inhale, soften the belly down, open through the chest and tailbone up. Exhale, round into your back. Follow your breathing, every time looking for a deeper arch through the back. Feeling a nice stretch through the back. On the exhale, push the floor away, spread the shoulder blades apart. One more time. And come back into the tabletop. Knees a little wider apart for thread the needle. Inhale, reach through the left arm up and open through the chest. Exhale, thread it. Bring the left shoulder towards the floor. Bring the side of your head down. Now find the twist and the stretch through the back. Explore this pose in your body. Notice that square in the hips, pushing the right hand into the floor might give you a deeper sensation of stretch through the back. Inhale, lift back and up with your left arm up towards the ceiling. And exhale, release. Let's change the sides. Inhale, right arm up. The chest is wide open. Exhale, thread it. Twist to the left. Inhale, reach back and up. Exhale, release. Let's take a puppy pose. So walk your hands a little farther forward. Bring the forehead. Or might be chest and chin down towards the floor. Melting and holding it there.
Inhale, slowly lift up. Sit your hips back and down towards the child's pose. Take a deep inhale here. And on the next exhale, reach through the fingers forward, around into your back. Inhale, lower the hips towards the floor, soften into the elbows, find a cobra pose. Exhale, lift through the hips up and sit back into the child's pose. Inhale. A few more times, exhale, round into the back. Inhale, open up Cobra. Exhale, lift the hips, push the floor away. Child's pose. Exhale, round. Inhale, soften and open up. Exhale, come back into the child's pose. One last time here. Exhale, round into the back. And this time lower down onto your tummy. Bring the hands onto the fingertips and wider apart. Inhale, lift up into the cobra. Exhale, lower down. Find a good placement for your hands. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Let's do this two more times. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale, soft and extend your right arm out to the right, palm is facing down, in line with your shoulder, left hand is bent next to the chest. Now roll on to the right side of your body, relax the head down. Might be already here, you will feel the stretch through the right shoulder. If you want to take it deeper, place the left foot behind your back and roll the hips down towards the floor. If you want to take it even deeper, bend the right knee. And sink through the left hip down towards the mat. A few more breaths wherever you are. If your knees were bent, slowly extend them down and roll on to the tummy. Bring the hands next to the chest and take a few circles through the shoulders. Now let's repeat it on the other side. Extend the left arm out, palm is facing down, roll on to the left side of your body. Might be hold it here. This is plenty of stretch. Might be bend the right knee behind your back. Rock the right hip a little bit closer towards the mat. Hold it. Might be bend the left knee. Beautiful stretch and twist. back onto the tummy. Might we take a few more circles 
through the shoulders. Inhale, lift up. And now step the right foot forward. If necessary, grab hold of your blocks. Bring your hands onto your blocks or hands to the floor. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee up and just a few soft, gentle, rocking movements here in the lunge position. Feeling for a beautiful stretch through the hips. Melting through the hips down. Perfect movement for the end of the day. If it feels like enough, bring the left knee down, right hand towards the right thigh. Again, just a few breaths here, lifting through the chest up, sinking the hips down. And now straighten into the right leg. Find the half splits. Your hand can remain on the block and on the thigh. More gentle variation. Find the length through the back. Breathe through the stretch that you feel. Slowly come out, step the right foot back, find a few wiggling movements through the hips. And let's do it on the opposite side. So step the left foot forward, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee up, rocking back and forward a few times. Bring the right knee down, left hand on to the left thigh to lift up through the heart, sink the hips down. Half splits, straighten the left leg as much as possible, fold over the left thigh. A few deep breaths here. Slowly come out of the stretch, set the blocks aside. Let's briefly come up into the downward facing dog. If necessary, keep it easy with your knees well bent. Just finding a little bit length through the back, might be shifting the hips from side to side. Might be choosing to walk the feet in place. Wherever you are, let's hold it there for three more breaths.
inhale walk your hands towards your feet bring the feet to the sides and making your way into the yogic squat you can choose to keep your hands down and just moving from side to side lifting one heel at a time opening one knee out at a time continue here or find the malasana with hands to the heart wherever you are three more breaths if necessary just sit up on a block it will make this pose much more relaxing like this or two blocks Nice hip opener, inner thigh stretch. Now that we are on a block, it feels like we can stay a little bit longer. <laughs> you can stay longer or lift the hips up, set the block aside. Come into the standing forward fold, feet comfortably hip distance apart, bend the knees, hands on the opposite elbows, close your eyes and hand loose as you relax into the upper body. Continuously keep letting go on any resistance of any tension. Hands to the floor, make your way down onto the mat. Extend your legs forward. You can choose to sit up on a block pillow or a blanket to make it more comfortable and to make the stretch in a seated forward fold more effective. Then it will be easier to reach forward. Maybe place a bolster or pillow under your tummy. Close your eyes. We are taking just a few breaths here. You can choose to flex your feet or relax it down. Slowly come up. We'll continue with the supported bridge pose. So we'll need the blocks one or two. Lower down onto your back. Feet bent. Oh, knees bent, feet hip distance apart. Lift the hips up and place them on the block. Notice how you feel here. Might be, this is more than enough. If you'd like to lift up hips a little higher, might be the second block, or might be just a pillow over the block so that it doesn't feel like too high, too much of a lift. Find a good placement for your blocks. They are not under your lower back. They are right 
where the tailbone is not too far forward. Your hips are nicely resting on the blocks. You can bring your feet just slightly wider apart. Open the palms of the hands up. And here we begin to relax. In the beginning, it might not feel like much is happening. But I encourage you to continuously keep letting go of any tension, especially surrounding your hips area. If you have been sitting for a long time today, if you carry a lot of unprocessed emotions, stress, this is the area that you'd really want to focus on. And again, come back to your breathing. You can choose to continue holding it here for a little bit longer or might be try to extend your legs forward very softly, gently. A little bit more of an intense stretch and opening. If this doesn't feel right for your body today, you can bend the knees. Just a couple more breaths wherever you are. Melting away sinking down onto the blocks. If your legs were straight, very slowly bending them back. Here, if you were only on one block, it's easier for you just to roll off the block and down. If you're on two, gently <laughs> lift the hips up, which might be hard, and slide the hips down, out. Oh. Lower the hips towards the floor. Might be feet a little wider and bring the knees more together.
deep sensation through the hips. I suggest to take Shavasana in this position so that we feel that the lower back is resting on the floor. Extend your arms down, open the palms up. This is how we will finish this practice. So take a few more deep breaths, a few more deep exhales, if necessary through the open mouth. Reminding yourself that letting go is an ongoing, continuous process that requires your presence of mind, your undivided attention. So now as you begin to scan through your body, make sure there is no tension left on your face. Relax your shoulders, your upper arms, your forearms, the palms of the hands, and all ten fingers. Feel that with every inhale, your stomach and your chest are softly lifting up. With every exhale, lowering down. If you feel ready, you can slowly extend one leg down at a time. Relax into the hips, into your legs, your feet, and all ten toes. Feel that you are sinking closer down towards the earth. There are no distractions. You are not worrying about tomorrow. You are not thinking about the past. You are right here. Gradually drifting away. softening. Relaxing. Stay here for as long as you have time. And whenever you are ready, bend the knees, roll through the right side. And then with your eyes still closed, Make your way back up into the seated position.
bring the hands to the heart center, the light within me honors the light within you, namaste. Thank you so much for completing this practice. I hope you feel relaxed and you are ready to go to sleep. Have a good night and I hope to see you on the mat tomorrow. Take care of yourself and much love.